everybody welcome back to the channel nice to see you again those of you who have been here before you may know that my channel's mainly concentrating on my love of discus fish and other exotic species so tropical fish from all over the world but today i thought i'd do something a little bit different because where i live if you can see out in my garden behind those trees is actually a river and I thought for once why don't we do something a little bit adventurous hence the aquarium adventures name we'll try and live up to it a little bit get out there and see what's in that river a little bit of investigating somewhat inspired by other channels that I enjoy to watch I'll put some links in the description where they look at native species uh, and they keep them in their tanks now I'm not advocating people go out there and take fish from the wild to keep in their home aquarium and I won't be doing that today I'll just be having a look to see what's out there, hopefully see what's out there. So if you do see any fish, I will need some help with identification in the comments. So if you see any, um, I might have a bash at guessing what they are, but let me know um, in the comments if you think you know what they are. I don't know what we'll find. I know the, the river is meant to be quite good for trout, um, so I don't know if we'll see any of them. But I'm expecting we'll see like sticklebacks and minnows and little things like that, or any other native species to the UK. But we'll get out of there and we'll have a wee look around uh, and we'll talk to you in a bit. So this is the River Don, which is at the bottom of my garden. My garden is just behind those trees there. You probably can't see them. So we've come for a little bit of an adventure and dry the kids out and they've only been moaning for 10 minutes so far. And we've been here 10 minutes. But anyway, we're gonna get in the water, have a look around, show you the surroundings and see if we can see anything, find any little native species. Let's have a look. Thank you. 
So I think that was mostly successful. We had to cut our little visit short because the heavens opened and the rains came down. And when the rain came down, the kids started moaning and kicking off. But also the river was getting kicked up as well. So I think when the water um, comes down and it first starts raining, it kicks up a load of silt and it just made filming impossible. I'll let you in a little secret. All I was doing was having basically had a stick with a GoPro on the end and dunked it in the water. So I was only really fishing or filming maybe five, six feet away from the bank of the river. So I'm surprised that we got anything um, because also the kids were there helpfully chucking things in the river, dancing around, making loads of noise and doing all that kind of things that kids do. But we did get a few little fishes in there. So let me know in the comments if you recognised any of them. I'm not sure. I'm going to do a, a bit more research and see if I can figure out what I think they were. Um, but I'd be interested. I, I was really surprised that we got so much, basically. I think what I need to do is spend a little bit more time scouting out some new locations. So there's, there's loads of places in that river that we can go and have a look in. But there's also reservoirs and lakes and things like that around here. So it might be, this might be part one of a new series of looking at all the local native species and seeing what's out there. Maybe even considering setting up a native tank and getting some of these things in an aquarium. I'll need to look and just double check on all the bylaws and all that kind of stuff to make sure that that's the right thing to do. I'm reasonably certain as long as you don't then don't keep some fish and then release them back into the wild then you should be all right. Um, but we just need to double check on all those rules. We'll probably discuss that on one of my live streams. So if you're interested, Friday night, nine o'clock UK time, you can come along and join us and we'll discuss all these things there. But yeah, I really enjoyed that. I thought it was quite successful for that we only got a little bit of time there. But we've managed to see some fish. I think there could be some new locations. Like I say, if I go and scout, scout them out properly, and um, we could get some new videos in the future. But yeah, like I say, I think this might be something that could be a lot of fun. We could learn a lot about what's out in the back door. Because um, literally I could throw a stone and hit that river from the, the veranda of my house. Um, I can't believe I've never thought to do this before, if I'm completely honest. Um, but yeah, I, I, I enjoyed that. As always, if you enjoyed any of this or you like this sort of thing and it's your first time here, make sure you click that subscribe button, it really helps me out. Uh, and you won't miss any future videos when we go and try and make some new ones. But so far, thanks for joining me and we'll see you in the next one and we'll see you then. Bye bye!